Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. In this video, we will review Superlist, the latest task management app that's making some noise in the productivity world. Superlist is the brainchild of Wonderlist creators and it promises a sleek, interactive experience for managing your daily tasks. So, whether you're a busy professional or a student juggling assignments, Superlist offers a suite of smart features to make your life easier. So, let's explore how this new tool could potentially revolutionize your productivity game. So, what exactly is Superlist? Well, Superlist emerged from the mind of Christian Reber, the powerhouse behind the successful Wonderlist app. After selling Wonderlist to Microsoft in 2015, Reber noticed a gap in the market for a productivity tool that catered to both personal and professional needs. And this capability to have the tool catered to both personal and professional tasks is actually what intrigued me the most about this application, but more on that later. Overall, Superlist is a highly intuitive task management app that helps you organize your work and personal tasks efficiently and effectively. It provides a user-friendly interface that simplifies task management. Whether you're coordinating a major project or simply tracking your daily to-do list, Superlist promises to have you covered. One of the standout features of Superlist is its ability to seamlessly integrate with other apps. You can sync your tasks with Gmail, Slack, GitHub, and more, which is already quite impressive, especially for such a young application. But that's not all. Superlist also offers AI-powered features. For instance, it can automatically organize your tasks into a today list and create your to-do list for you, ensuring you're always focused on what's most pressing. Additionally, Superlist offers robust collaboration features. You can share your list with your team, assign tasks, and keep everyone in the loop. This makes it an excellent tool for team projects, helping you keep everyone on the same page. So before we dive into the tool and do a quick demo slash overview, let's take a look at the pricing, which for me, it's the most attractive aspect of this Superlist program. Because yes, the tool does offer task management capabilities, AI features, you know, you can collaborate with other people, you can access the tool from multiple devices, but those are features and things that we see in other apps. That's almost kind of like an expectation um, from us as end consumers for these type of tools. However, I think where the, the real difference lies is in their pricing structure. So if we take a look here, especially at the individual plans, I'll focus on these two as of now, as I don't tend to work in teams when I'm using these tools. Um, really, if you look at the main differences between the free and the pro version, it comes down to having access to you know, a shared list. So if you're not looking to share uh, your lists or collaborate with other people in using this tool, then you'll be fine with the free plan. Then also with the paid version, you get access to like Slack, GitHub, Linear, and Figma integrations, which in my case, I don't need. I'm fine with just having Gmail, Google Calendar, Microsoft To Do, um, just to forward my emails and turn them into tasks. So again, the free version works just fine for me. And the other thing is, if you like to store documents inside um, your productivity tools, then yes, with the paid version, you do get access to a, a bit more of a storage capabilities. But Again, that's not something that I myself use, and it's probably, I'm assuming it's probably the case for most of you. So the free version, it's actually already packed with a bunch of features that would be enough uh, for you to make this your you know, go-to productivity app. So now let's head on over to superlist.com to actually take a look at the um, application. One thing to call out here is that they don't have, or Superlist does not have a Windows version. At the moment, I'm sure that's something that they're working on and will come out with in the future. But as of right now, they only have Android, iOS, and a Mac um, version of the app. So if you do want to access it in a Windows system, then you'll have to do it through a web browser or their web app, which is really not that bad. I've been playing around with it, and it's really not bad. Uh, and I'm sure it'll come out with a executable file or a program specifically for Windows later in the future. But basically, once you log in into the application, I am using here the free version, which again, just to emphasize, I think it's more than enough and it contains many features that can make this your main um, go-to task management slash productivity platform. But we've already discussed that in the previous section. So here, once you log in into the application, very simple layout. Here on the left side, we'll have our main menu with some different features that we'll go over. Then we'll have here our kind of super list 
working space. So right now I have the inbox list selected, which is what you see here. And then here on the right side, if you're creating more lists or a sub list, and we'll go that into that in a second, then that will open up on this side and you can kind of, it's kind of a hierarchy, right? So my inbox will be my main list. If I add a new task and I add a list or subtasks to this task, then that will open up on this right side um, window and we'll go from there. So before we go over what each of the items here on the left-hand side menu um, mean or do, uh, let's kind of explain the main functionality of Superlist. And that is, or how it works basically, is you create a list and inside that list, you can add paragraphs, sections, tasks, etc. And then from there, those tasks, sections, paragraphs can have sublists or subtasks. So that's kind of the hierarchy that, that it follows, but it, it all centers around this list type entity. So to start, for example, I can come in here and in the list section, I have the new list button that I can press that creates a new list. I want to call these, you know, work to do's. This list will contain all the tasks that I need to accomplish for my work. Right. So here I've added three tasks. Let's say here that I want to add now a either a paragraph or maybe I want to introduce a new section and this is for a specific project, you know, project A. And these are going to be the tasks or to do's for that specific project. Right. So it's kind of like a worksheet, like a Word document or a Google Doc where you have a title, you have, you know, check items that you can add. As you see, it also plays a little sound there. And you have, you know, headings, subheadings, etc. But then what happens here is let's say I want to add a you know subtask or notes that relate specifically to task one here. As soon as I press on it, then I see that task one has its own list assigned to it or created for it so if i want to you know assign a subtask to task one and i would do so here or maybe you know i need to add a note and i want this to be say a divider that's those are my tags or sorry tasks and then i have my notes here related specifically to task one. So when I exit out of that, I'll just click that X and I see here that task one in my work uh, to do list has two subtasks. If I want to review them. I can just click on it and that will open up a list specifically for task one. Let's say I want to kind of go deeper and have a subtask now or notes related to the subtask here for task one. I apologize. I'm saying task too many times, but you get the idea, right? It's a hierarchy. So whatever entity or item you create in a list, it has its own list kind of created or ready for it so that you can add items specifically related to that um, entity. Let's go back all the way to the beginning. Let's exit out of there. So that's kind of the main um, kind of workflow that Superlist will follow. So very simple. I like that. It's not complex. You get the idea. Um, it follows a very simple hierarchy. And that makes uh, keeping track of things a lot simpler, in my opinion. Okay, so now that we've seen kind of the hierarchy or the main functionality of Superlist, then let's review the items here on the left-hand side menu just to know what they are. We'll start with our inbox. This is where any task uh, that has not been assigned to a specific list or any task that has been created via integration. Maybe you configured already the Gmail integration that so that every time somebody emails you, you create a task from that email. Uh, those will leave here until you reassign them to a specific list. Um, the today tab, pretty self-explanatory. If you add a, if I go back here to my work uh, to do, I can go ahead and add a due date to this specific task. Let's say I add it here um, today, then I'll see this task appear here in the today section. So pretty self-explanatory. Then we have our tasks. This is where you'll see or you'll have access to all your tasks, no matter what list they're on. And you can search for specific tasks here. Um, and then you have other filters, whether it's, you know, assigned to others, it's upcoming, it's done, etc. We have uh, a few filters here in the tasks section. 
Then you have messages. I won't get into that. That's again, if you use this tool for collaboration, this is where you can message other people within the app. And finally, we come to the list section that we briefly touched on earlier in the video. Uh, here we can create a new section if we need to. You know, let's say that I have a bunch of pets and I have certain items that I want to, you know, track in for them specifically. I can add a pet section and drag and drop lists under this category just to keep myself organized. Here it's also the place where I can create a new list if I need to. And then what I want to touch on next is probably the functionality that I find most useful here within this application. And that is the ability to view or not view your personal and your work related tasks. So let's say I want to keep track using a single account, same program. I want to keep track of all my personal to do um, items. But I also have a full time job, a nine to five, where I need to keep track of different things that are kind of unrelated completely to my personal life. For that, this tool here has included this functionality where I can create a new team by clicking here on my profile icon. I can click on new team. I'm going to make name this team just work. Since it's just me, that's pretty self explanatory. So, you know, work, I've created a new, a new team. If I click back on my icon I see now that I have personal and work um, created and right now they're both toggled on so what I can do now here it's this work to-do list that I created I'm gonna go ahead and drag that here into the work section and I'm gonna go back in this to this list I'm gonna click share and I'm gonna share these to my work section or I'm gonna assign it to my work section and I'm going to exit out of there, right? So now it is assigned, this list is assigned to my work team. So if I go ahead and turn this off, I won't see that list anymore. And let's say, you know, it's after 5 p.m. and I want to take a look at my personal tasks. I don't have to worry or see anything related to my job anymore. And that, you know, has its own benefits. Uh, we won't get into that, but it's beneficial also for your mental health you know after 5 p.m if you have a full-time job this way you won't have to see and you're not tempted to go ahead and check what you have to do for work you can disconnect and only focus on your personal tasks same thing once you know you're back at work let's say you don't want to see what you need to buy for groceries that day or that you need to go to the gym in the afternoon etc you can hide or simply turn off uh, that personal view and all your personal lists will disappear and you can only focus on your work to-do lists. Very simple, very self-explanatory functionality, but for me, this is the most powerful feature this um, tool has at the moment. I mean, that is a very personal opinion. I understand that, but that's one thing that I feel like all these productivity tools lack, you know? So it's great if you're an entrepreneur and you only, you're kind of your personal to do items and your work items are kind of the same thing. But for the majority of us that are, or for not majority, but for a lot of us that work in nine to five um, and do keep kind of our personal and work life separated and we want a tool to be productive in both, um, this functionality for me, it's, it's great. I'm just surprised we have not seen this in other programs. I'm very happy it's here. So I'm going to be using Superlist for the upcoming weeks. I'll keep making more videos about it. And really, the whole reason is that functionality specifically. Really, really enjoy that. Just the ability to just not see um, items related to my work or personal or vice versa. It's, it's for me, that's, that's great. Um, but yeah, anyway, very quick video. Uh, I kind of just wanted to review Superlist since it is a new application and I found again that functionality to be very useful. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I can improve. And yep, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.